welcome back to my channel and happy Canada Day to everybody. Today I'm going to be making beaver tails for Canada Day. So if you go to places like Canada's Wonderland, you'll always find some food trucks that sell beaver tails and, and, and a lot of people like them. If you don't know what beaver tails are, it's a deep fried dough that's in the shape, shape of a beaver tail, like, like this. So they're usually ovals. <laughs> the ingredients I'm going to be using for my beaver tails are melted butter, water, milk, sugar, two eggs, salt, and a whole wheat flour. And I'm also going to be using two packages of instant yeast. If you want to see the exact measurements, go to the description down below. And we're going to be using whole wheat flour because the original recipe actually uses whole wheat flour. So we want to try to make it as similar as possible. So let's get into it. Um, I have all my yeast in here and now I'm going to add my water. It's really important that it's warm. We're going to add a little bit of sugar, just a little pinch. And we're going to let this mixture inside of here. And we're gonna leave this here until it's kind of bubbly. My yeast bloomed, so now I'm going to uh, add the rest of my ingredients. First, I'm going to add my warm milk. It's really important that the, that the water and the milk are both warm. We're going to add the butter. If you're melting the butter, Make sure a grown-up helps you. The salt, sugar, and finally, the two eggs. And now I'm going to stir this until it's all mixed well. Now I'm going to, I'm going to add my flour. to mix it until it's mixed well. <laughs> okay, it looks like the consistency. It's kind of sticky. I took my dough out and this is what it looks like. I'm going to try to make it into a ball shape. And I'm going to spray the, um, a bowl where you can put this inside with some cooking spray. And if you don't have cooking spray, you can always use olive oil. <laughs> I'm going to put the dough inside and I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap. Now I have a bowl with hot water and I'm going to put in my uh, bowl inside. I'm going to let this rise for about an hour and I'll see you when it's done. It's been an hour and I've took off the plastic wrap and this is what, this is what it looks like. It might have, ooh, it's really stretchy. This is perfect because this is what we want because uh, beaver tails are um, are chewy and moist in the inside. This is exactly what it's like. So I'm going to, whoa, okay, this is actually so soft. It's like slime. I'm going to dust my counter with some flour. I have a pot here with some oil ready to turn on because beaver tails can get dry really quick. I have a towel here that I'm going to use to cover the beaver tails because I don't want them to dry up while um, I'm waiting. So uh, as you can see, I'm kneading the dough. Of course, my mom's going to fry my beaver tails. If you're a little kid, you <laughs> don't want to play with hot oil because it can burn your skin really easily. You can tell when the dough is ready because when you poke it, it comes back at you. So I'm going to split them in half so it's easier for me to cut. Okay. 
try to just keep cutting everything in half and you'll get pretty even pieces. I'm going to set this up so I can um, put my beaver tails in here. So I think this is one and I'm going to put it under here so they don't dry up. What? Okay, I'm going to dust my counter again so I can roll out my beaver tails. And this is how they look like. So I'm going to I'm going to keep them covered so they don't dry up. And I'm going to try to roll the beaver tails really thin because like for example, if you were to put this in oil, it would get like really big. And beaver tails are supposed to be thin. Your goal is to make it an oval. Like a tail of a beaver tail. And remember, um, try to keep the shape an oval. And now I'm kind of going to stretch it out so it's not too thick in the middle. I'm going to roll it a little more. And this is pretty much the size that you're looking for. So let's keep doing this and I'll show you when I'm done. Beaver tails are like really uh, yummy to eat when it's like a really cold winter day and you want something like crispy and warm to fill you up and slightly sweet. Uh, I have so many memories eating beaver tails at school because we do something called Carnival where they sell beaver tails in a little food truck. At this point, my mom is going to start heating up the oil so uh, the oil is ready and our beaver tails don't get really dry. So now my mom is going to start frying the beaver tails. Oh my God, hear that. So we're going to put it in for 30 seconds to one minute for each side of the beaver tail. We want our beaver tails to be a really nice golden brown color on each side. And remember, while you're um, cooking your beaver tails, you want to make sure that you have all your other beaver tails covered up with a cloth so they don't get dried up. It actually smells really good. <laughs> we have our first beaver tail ready. I'll see you when they're all done. This is how a normal beaver tail looks like. Um, this one's a little small, just after you fry it. I don't recommend eating this plain because it tastes like plain bread. But if you put on the toppings, it tastes like really good. It changes everything. So I just finished decorating all of my beaver tails. In total, I made about 11 beaver tails. It can serve a lot of people. So like if you're having a party on a cold winter day, you can serve this to people because like I already had one and it already filled me up. Like I could not wait for the video to start. I just really wanted to eat one. So my personal favorite is a classic that is a combination of sugar and cinnamon. And this is the best way to do it. So pretty much you get a beaver tail, you put it inside of the bag and you shake it and you move it around so that all the beaver tail gets um, covered with icing. I mean, with this, and you have this. If you've seen some beaver tails, you might recognize these because these are some of the most popular beaver tails that you can find. So over here I have some peanut butter with some bananas and some caramel drizzle. So here I have some crushed Oreos, and under there I have, so I mixed uh, icing sugar and a little bit of milk. So here, like I told you, it's a mixture of sugar and of cinnamon. And here I have Nutella with Reese's Pieces. I hope you liked my video and you give it a try. And if you do, let me know in the comments down below. It's super duper good and it's totally worth it. And if you come and visit Canada, make sure to go try these out. They taste really, really good. So happy Canada Day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay.